Hello everyone, and welcome to another Libby, Kenny, and Things video. I'm your host, Kenny, and today we're going to be talking about social media, particularly the negative impact social media has on your health. To begin, I want to talk about my own personal experiences with social media, how, is it how it's affected my life, and why I chose to purge my social media, that being Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, and YouTube, of the channels I was subscribed to. So sit back, get comfy, put on a jacket, or something like that, and listen to... Listen as I explain my journey through social media. I began using social media back in 2008, way back during the era of MySpace. And while social media has changed quite a bit since I was a beady-eyed high school student, I have experienced that change personally and do believe I am pretty qualified to talk about it. When social media was in its infancy, it was a place to gather with your friends place where you would go and message with friends for hours talking about all sorts of random stuff, from your hobbies to school and everything in between. MySpace had this awesome feature where you could have music playing on your page, and you could spice your page up with backgrounds, whether they were static or animated, which I thought was really awesome. Um, but for me, social media was more about making friends. You see, I was quite the hermit. I had one or two friends, but spent most of my time on the internet playing World of Warcraft, watching YouTube, and going to cheat code websites for games because I was a lazy kid. Uh, social media also became a place where slowly over time it evolved from this user-friendly place that I grew up with, where you make friends and share your interests, to this highly monetized system where you were targeted with posts that were linked to the video you watched or something you said IRL. I cannot tell you how many times I have been talking with Libby, who is my fiance, about something random with like buying a new bed or getting some food and the same day I'm seeing ads for beds and Taco Bell. This is where the problem begins, the mass marketing of info to people or as it is affectionately known as the algorithm. Um, Facebook, YouTube, places like that, they love to talk about the algorithm, the algorithm, the algorithm. Anytime you have an issue with copyright, oh, well, the algorithm just accidentally picked it up. Anytime you go down the rabbit hole on YouTube, well, our algorithm seems to be pushing people into these videos, but I experienced it personally. So, first of all, show me down below. Hit the like button if this has ever happened to you. You watched one political video on YouTube, or liked a political post on Facebook, and now all you see are political junk on those platforms. As we all know, especially for those of us who lived through 2020, politics and news are just a constant cesspool of negative information. It doesn't matter your beliefs, and I'm not here to give you any of my political points of view. What I am going to talk about is how that took a toll on my mental health. In the fall of 2015, I began getting into politics as a side hobby. I fell victim to the cesspool of the internet and the algorithm, in air quotes, I went from being happy all the time, and I was, I used to be a very happy person. I didn't really have any major issues mentally. I was always, you know, just the positive person. I would see the positive aspects of life. And uh, I went from being happy all the time and only worrying about the things I enjoyed, like my friends and family and video games, anime, things like that, to this depressing, spiteful, mean, unhappy person who only cared about politics and it affected every part of my life. That feeling I had was awful and soon after the election I purged my Facebook of every post I had made about politics because I had realized it was ruining my life. There was a problem. The algorithm didn't care. The algorithm had seen what I was doing and said, remember all those YouTube videos, Twitch streamers, and Facebook posts you liked or watched? Well, now we're going to infest your social media with nothing but politics. Gaming? Nah, politics about games. Anime? Nah, politics about anime. Movies? Nah, check out this Facebook page talking about cancel culture and how some actor just got canceled. In short, the algorithm had trapped me. I had deleted my posts, so why was it still making me see this stuff? And for a while, that's where it ended. I just sort of moved on and lived with it. And I think a lot of us just kind of move on and live with it from day to day and don't really notice how these algorithms are affecting our emotional health and personal health. And it's important to take a step back from social media, whether that be YouTube or Facebook or Reddit or places like that, and take a second to look back at the stuff that's being posted and see if you're comfortable with that stuff constantly appearing in your face. So, about a week ago, I got an idea. 
an idea that to this point has changed my life. I know it's only been a week and that's not a hard, large sample size, but I do think it's important to talk about this. I decided to purge not just my posts on Facebook, but unsubscribe from every negative news channel on YouTube, political or otherwise. Anything that was giving me negativity, I deleted it. I unsubscribed from it. I made sure that I couldn't get any notifications from those videos whatsoever. Um, I unsubscribed from uh, every subreddit that brought about negativity on Reddit. I unfollowed anyone on Facebook who posts negative news or negative political stuff. Um, and while doing this, uh, well, first, I also... Um, unsubscribed from every Twitch streamer that brought about negativity too, because Twitch also has a lot of political streamers on there that I was following at the time. And while doing this, I checked YouTube's front page obsessively, and using their not interested feature, they have a little feature where if you go in and you click the three little dots on a video, you can click not interested or don't show me content from this channel, or don't ever show me this channel. And so I purged my front page of anything negative. News, politics, anything. Because not because I don't think it's important to stay informed, but because I was trying to trick the algorithm into not showing me that stuff all the time. And that's when it happened. Suddenly, like out of nowhere, the negative news vanished. Like an abusive parent going down the street to buy cigarettes and never returning, it just disappeared. And every YouTube video was uplifting and positive. Nobody on Facebook was posting anything negative. Reddit was all video games and anime, but nothing political or negative. It was a miracle. I had essentially, like, for some reason, I had essentially told the algorithm I wanted to be happy, and it obliged. Since last week, I've barely even kept up with current events. Every so often, I'll pop open a open up a an incognito window and search up the news to stay somewhat in the loop. But otherwise, I ignore it. Now, I want to add one thing. It is important to stay informed. However, there is a healthy amount of info to take in, and there's an unhealthy amount of info to take in. Um, is negativity tying up your every thought? Have you become overly cynical about the world? Then it's time to take a break. Did a law just change that benefits you financially and you'd like to read up on it? That's totally fine. But you need to pick your battles on social media, because social media loves to show you the things that you watch frequently. And so this is why I started using, I unsubscribed from everything so that it wouldn't show me anything personally, but I also decided to only search these things up in incognito tabs. So if, I, if I'm if i on um, you know Chrome, it's incognito, um, private browsing on other browsers. And that way, the only time it ever, uh, when I, whenever I would go and watch these things was when I wasn't logged onto an account. I had to actively search these things out on an in incognito window so that my information wouldn't be tracked and so it wouldn't start recommending me these videos and so to kind of finish up staying connected allows us to access vast amount of info but too much exposure to social media can destroy you as a person and it eats at the positive aspects of your mind so in conclusion i purged my social media of negativity and you should too Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like vid button down below. And don't forget to hit the sub button if you enjoy Libby Kenny and things. And I will see all of you in the next video.